Hi, my name is Kevin Ahern, and I'm a professor of biochemistry at Oregon State University. Could you speak about, uh, about the oncogenes? Yes, certainly. So the, the question has to do with what are, what's the difference between proto-oncogenes and oncogenes. So uh, the proto-oncogene is the one I always like to describe first. The proto-oncogene is a normal gene that exists in our cells, and it plays a very critical role in um, controlling cells' decisions about division, for example. And I say A, it turns out there are about several hundred of these that play very, very critical roles. Epidermal growth factor receptor, for example, is a proto-oncogene. Okay? Now, if the epidermal growth factor receptor doesn't communicate information properly, let's say it gets left in the on state where it's constantly telling the cell to divide, then that proto-oncogene is no longer functioning normally, and that proto-oncogene that does not function normally is known as an oncogene. And the reason it's known as an oncogene is the term oncogene means cancer gene. Okay? By far the most common way in which a proto-oncogene is converted into an oncogene is by mutation. So it takes mutation to convert a proto-oncogene into an oncogene, and there are hundreds of examples where that can happen. It's because there are so many oncogenes that there are so many different kinds of cancer. There's so many different ways we can screw up the system that uh, we don't have one type of cancer. We don't have one cure for cancer because there are just so many ways in which the signal or the information can be screwed up. Does that, does that help? Neil. So when you speak of um, mutation, you're, you're saying that, uh, that once the um, cell manufactures a receptor, it's, it's a messed up receptor, based on because the genetic material that's made from is mutated? So this is relating to the proto-oncogene you're talking about? Okay, so what I said was, if the proto-oncogene is mutated such that it's not communicating the signal properly, and the example I gave was where it was communicating a constant signal to divide, like constantly. For example, the receptor might mutate to the point where it is uh, always acting as if it's bound to epidermal growth factor. So if it's always in that same confirmation that it would be in as if it had epidermal growth factor, then that's part of that signal that normally would tell the cell, now is the time to divide. But if it's stuck in that mode, it's always telling the cell to divide. And I'm telling you that that will happen as a result of mutation. So I'm not sure if that's answering your question again, but I, but I hope that's what...